Hi, I'm Sammy. In my previous video, I went over Open Sesame, a tool I've created de to demonstrate massive vulnerabilities that exist in many fixed code garages, capable of opening many garages and gates in under 10 seconds. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can determine if you have one of these vulnerable systems and what type of system to look for to prevent this type of issue. I'll first note that these garages have been known to be easily opened or cracked for over 30 years, yet vendors continue to manufacture and irresponsibly sell them to consumers without any warning of their inherent weaknesses. In fact, criminals have been buying and selling code grabbers for years, which can easily open these same garages. Now, the first thing you'll want to do to see if you have a potentially vulnerable system is to look at your garage door remote. and. If you open it up and it has a series of dip switches, it is possible that it is exploitable. If you do in fact have these dip switches in your remote, the next thing you want to determine is whether your garage or remote supports rolling codes, hopping codes, or security plus. Some remotes will simply say security plus or security plus 2.0 on them. If you have this, then you're safe from the open sesame attack, as well as common brute force attacks and code grabbers. If it does not have any sign of that, the next thing to do is to look up the model of your remote or garage receiver and find the manual or product description. If you see rolling code, hopping code, security plus, or security plus 2.0, then you're safe from the attack I've presented, along with the attacks criminals have been using for years. If you do not see any word of this and your remote has dip switches, then it's entirely possible you have a vulnerable garage system. If so, I suggest you upgrade to a system with rolling codes. Either look for rolling codes in the product description or security plus and security plus 2.0, for example, from LiftMaster or Chamberlain. While there are other potential vulnerabilities, these more up-to-date systems are thousands of times more secure and should prevent a number of well-known attacks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to get more sneak peek videos and first looks at the research I'm doing and learn how to protect yourself as a consumer, please join my mailing list. You can subscribe from my website at sammy.pl. Thanks. Bye.